Hello everybody, this is Adrian for Wipecard Online and I'm all about the details. The Proton X70 is the undisputed king of value for money proposition for those looking for a C-segment SUV. Great tech and features, brilliant ride comfort for not a lot of money. Japanese SUVs just can't go head to head with the X70. So who can? Behold, the Havel H6, a Chinese SUV that is the direct rival of the Proton X70 and yes, we have word that it is coming to Malaysia, so here's the first look of the range-topping Havel H6 HEV, courtesy of our sister site, Orofan Thailand. Yep, we have a site in Thailand and Indonesia. Now, let's get on with the video. Download the official Webcar app on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store now. I'm sure Malaysians have heard of the Havel brand, but it doesn't leave the best of impressions. More commonly known as the cheap Chinese brand, if you will. But did you know that in China, the best-selling SUV for 11 years in a row is the Havel H6, and in 2020, it outsold the Honda CRV and Jili Boye, or Proton X70, by over 100,000 units. According to the local Chinese in China, the Havel H6 was the first C-segment SUV from a Chinese car maker and is now a household name. The H6 offers great value for money, high-tech features, lots of variant choices, and good reliability. If you're in the market for a C-segment SUV without breaking the bank, the H6 is the default choice in China. The Havel H6 is now in its third generation and recently made its ASEAN debut in Thailand. This car you're seeing here is the H6 HEV variant, which made its world debut at the Bangkok Motor Show. First up, just to give you an idea of the Havel H6 dimensions, it's larger than the Proton X70 on all accounts. It has one of the longest wheelbase among the popular C-segment SUVs, measuring 2,738mm. According to my colleague at Autofun, the H6 looks very majestic in person thanks to the large mesh grille up front and the strong body lines on the hood and sides as well as the slim LED headlamps. Around the rear, you find a light bar strip as the tail lamps, a design element that seems to be very popular among Chinese car makers. Inside, there are two interior color options, dual tone black and grey or single tone black. If you opt for the dual tone, the interior trims are finished in a bronze color to further spruce up the cabin, otherwise it'll just be a silver trim. Key highlights in the interior include a floating center touchscreen, rotary gear selector, electric parking brake, panoramic sunroof, multifunctional steering wheel with pedal shifters and powered front seats. My colleague Pisan noticed that the functionalities of the head unit and cabin practicalities while are top notch, the materials used doesn't feel as good as it looks. While my only gripe with the cabin is the 10 inch digital instrument cluster that just sits there. To me it looks a bit aftermarket and it doesn't feel very properly integrated with the car. Rear cabin space is no complaints thanks to the H6's long wheelbase. What's most impressive is the spacious headroom despite having a panoramic sunroof. It has plenty of headroom to offer. Interestingly, Pisan noticed that the bench is a little short for its liking and finds that it could do with a little bit more tie support. This Havel H6 HEV is powered by a 1.5 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder petrol engine paired to a 130 kilowatt hour electric motor to give it a combined output of 243 horsepower and a whopping 530 newton meters of torque. No details on the fuel consumption or acceleration figures at the moment, but we dare say it's going to be a one fast accelerating SUV. If this H6 HEV comes to Malaysia, it will be the most powerful C-segment SUV on sale. In China, the H6 is also available with a 1.5 or 2-litre turbo petrol engines, both paired to a 7-speed wet dual-clutch transmission. The Havel brand will be making a strong comeback to the Malaysian market with this H6 and potentially the first love SUV. Yes, I know it's a bit of a weird name. It will finally give the Proton X70 a run for its money and with the two cars parked side to side, I think that the H6 is a little bit more attractive than the X70. But what about you? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below whether would you take the X70 or the H6. So there you have it guys, a first look on the all new Havel H6 HEV. As always, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Yeah.
Download the official Webcar app on Apple App Store and Google Play Store for all your latest reviews, news, and comparisons to help you find your next perfect car.